So, hi, um, I'm going to introduce today an informative sensing system for the simultaneous measurement of leaf area index and photosynthetic active radiation. Climate change threatens vegetation and trees across the forest ecosystem and in the cities. And as vegetation has advantages for the society and bring economical benefit, it is necessary to develop strategies to protect it. For this reason, it's necessary to develop systems that are able to monitor the healthy stages of trees and vegetation continuously. And then to use this data to feed model, which in the future will help us then to forecast what is the impact that uh, the climate change has on our ecosystem. And to stress the importance of this topic, I show you some pictures here of the same spot of the forest in Germany, so in the middle of Europe, and now the status in the same period because of the drought has killed uh, many trees. Two key parameters for measuring the development quality of plants and their forms are the photosynthetic active radiation and the leaf area index. Photosynthetic active radiation is the intensity of light between 400 and 700 nanometer, which is the wavelength that is necessary for photosynthesis and hence for the plant's growth. Leaf area index is a parameter that is very useful for modeling the exchange of water and carbon between the tree crown and the atmosphere. And it gives us information also on how the tree crown develops. It is basically the ratio between the leaf area and the corresponding ground surface. Now, there are already available systems on the market which are able to measure both photosynthetic active radiation and leaf area index. But as you can see from the picture for photosynthetic active radiation, the system are most of the time very big and they are placed on towers. Which means that we can do a functional measurement, but not over extensive areas. There are also more compact systems like this one here, which is, however, not meant for low power application, which means that we cannot deploy it for a very long time. For leaf area index, is very common the LIE 2200, which, as you can see, is an instrument that is mainly meant for an operator which then has to walk through the forest. Our vision is, however, together with a group of biologists in the project EcoSense also, to obtain a 3D picture of these two parameters. This means that what we want to achieve is the development of a very compact nodes which work in a network and which, which can be deployed over extensive areas and also a different level of the tree crown, so that we can capture the three-dimensional spatiotemporal heterogeneity of these parameters. And the temporal heterogeneity, because we want to send this data also continuously. So to overcome the limitation of the system that are available and to achieve our vision, what we have developed is a very compact sensor which is based on a multi-channel spectral micro sensor, which is placed here and is a commercial one. And here is the characteristic of how it works. It measures the light in eight visual channels in the frequency range, which is of interest for us, the 400 to the 700 nanometer, and give us also information in the near infrared range. Additionally, we also have a diffuser, which guarantee that the light that, that, that reach the chip is homogeneously distributed. Um, a shadow ring, which then guarantee that the light from the side is not entering in. And finally, a glass dome, which is there to protect our system from moisture and dirt. The sensor has been additionally also embedded on a sensor node, um, which is exclusively powered through a solar cell. We have a board for the microcontroller for the data acquisition and processing, and we use the protocol LoRaWAN for the transmission of the data. And as you can see, it's more or less big as a matchbox at the moment, and it can be placed very easily also on small branches. 
And let's make a step forward and let's see what this the working principle of the two sensors. And I start with the LIE. So the measurement of the LIE we use for the calculation, the Monsi IT model. There are several, this is one of the simplest. And it tells us, according to this formula that is derived from the beer lambert law, that the LIE is dependent from the intensity of the light below and above the canopy. And so what we do basically is to use a reference node externally from the crown, and then we can use several sensors which are below the canopy. Here you can see in this image here, just because this is the setting that we have used for the calibration, which is the part that I'm presenting in this work. So on the basis of this model, we can use then this formula here, which allow us to calculate the LAE as a function of the logarithmus of the ratio between the intensity of the light below and above the canopy. In this calibration function, we have defined and the most suitable solution for us is a power regression model. For the calibration, we have additionally taken care that the measurements are executed with the state-of-the-art instrument, which is this LIE 2200 and our newly developed sensor node um, in parallel, as you can see with this plan. For the PAR, what we do is we use this chip, which is, as I said, also available on the market. And we use a multilinear regression over this eight channel, which are the ones that are for the PAR relevant. And so we can calculate in the end our PAR according to this formula in which if E is the intensity of the light per channel, B are the coefficients that we can trace out through calibration and N is the number of the channel. And now you can see already that our solution bring an additional advantage to the commercially available one. Because in the case of commercial system, what we trace, what we obtain is the intensity of the light in the range 400, 700 nanometer means one value. For the biologist is however very important to know also, or it would be a nice add-on to know what is the quality of the light in this range, a thing that our sensor can do because it can give us the value of the intensity at least in 11 channels. Okay. Um, these are the first results that we are, with which we have validated our system. You can see on the x-axis is the LIE and the PAR measured with the state-of-the-art instrument. And on the Upsilon axis, the LIE and the PAR uh, obtained from our sensor, which are corresponding. What we, however, observed is that in the case of the LIE, we have um, a normalized root mean square error, which is of 0 0.1, which according to us can be improved. Because what we think the reason is for this um, um, error here, is the fact that first of all the sensor and the um, uh, and the state of the art instrument that we have used have a slightly different field of view. They are close to each other, but they are not on the same point. Um, and this could be a reason for this. One additional aspect that I have to point out is also the fact that we use the Monsi Saeki model. That is this formula that I have shown you. While the state of the art instrument LIE 2200 use the Miller model. This model take also into account the angle with which the light reach the chip, which we cannot measure at the moment, but which could be our challenge for the future. In this, in this case, the um, <laughs> in this case the the Miller model uh, give um, a, a more precise result. Nevertheless, the correspondence is is good for both. And now, in the meanwhile, um, this is um, this is happening between the, the abstract publication by uh, by the conference, and now we have also tested explicitly for LIE our sensor node into in the measurement campaign. So we are taking our nodes, and we have actually placed outdoor for six weeks. Um, in the period that goes between the end of the um, summer and the beginning of the autumn, in order to see if we would have been able to follow the falling of the leaf. 
And what we can see is this is the carb that we have obtained is that the system is reliable and work. We have in the beginning this plateau with this constant value of the LAI while the tree was still full of leaf. Then we have at this day 293 was more or less. Um, we have a big uh, difference. As you can see, one, one measurement is here and the next one is here. And this corresponds meteorologically with the storm. Um, and then, of course, the LAE goes down continuously till you reach the minimum when the uh, tree is then, uh, has lost all the leaf. Yeah. Um, if you're interested to know something more about our measurement campaign and also the software that we have then developed for the data processing and the filtering, you can have a look at the sequence here. This brings to the end of my presentation. I thank you for my for your attention and I look forward to your questions.